All right. Um, just testing the run out on this uh, little mandrel I have. It's about uh, three eighths in diameter, and I think it's actually too too narrow. I'm getting uh, some deflection in in that when I'm boring, as well as uh, in the boring bar itself. So, but that's not the only problem. The, I'm finding I have run out or more run out in my chuck than I had thought I had. I had thought I had about four thousandths and it looks like I'm getting more than that. So uh, let's see. Yeah, you guys ought to be able to see that. I'm trying to do this with the little amount of glare I can get on the let's see. So it's about seven thousandths run out. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna zero this out again. Okay, there we go. I believe that's the lowest spot. So six and a half. In the uh, closer to seven because it's going a little bit past the zero when it comes back out. Yeah, at least from this angle it is. hard to see through the camera because I'm trying to uh, avoid from hitting it and I have it in a really strange position right now so yeah we're getting to seven and that's just unacceptable for you know a drill chuck I, I want that thing to be as close to zero as I can get it so uh, I'm gonna reset the uh, Reset the uh, indicator so I can show you the run out that I'm getting in the chuck. Okay, I guess I have it in a spot where I think you guys can see it. Um, I had to turn off the overhead light, but uh, it looks like it's showing up on the screen there pretty well. A lot better than it was uh, prior. So I'll probably re redo the, the filming of the mandrel. Um, anyways, here's the run out on the backing plate. And they're really shouldn't be much. Uh, see if I can do it without getting in your way. Yeah, I mean it's just like a tick. It's less than less than two tenths. I mean the needle's just barely moving. Could be surface noise. But actually probably not as <laughs> it's pretty smooth. So anyways, backing plate, good. Now, uh, I'm going to have to move you guys real quick. Okay, that's as close as I can get you guys without losing focus. So we're going down five and up one and a half so dang that's six and a half I'm gonna set this back to zero at the low spot so actually I should do it at the high spot so I can get a positive number but I think we can all count backwards yeah right there six and a half run out on the chuck it's not good enough not for me so I'm going to do some fixing of the chuck before I can fix the chuck. <laughs> Got to fix the three jaw before I can fix the drill chuck. So let's try that again. I've just uh, set it, reset it to zero uh, on the low side. And now we'll get a positive reading. Yeah, almost seven.
I mean, it's seven if I go fast, but that's not really how you do it. Yeah, six and a half. Let's see if I can get it back to zero, though. Yeah, there's zero. So, six and a half. Six and a half, thou have run out. So, yeah.